There's a new exhibit at the Greenwood Gallery this month that offers people a chance to help make sure Tulsa is not defined by the tragedy and destruction of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. News on 6's Mackenzie Gladney joins us live from Greenwood with the details. Mackenzie. Yeah, the artist tells me this new exhibit is about changing the way we think of Tulsa and its horrific past. There is a dark cloud that can loom over this city but I believe that there is a new horizon. Marlon Hall says Tulsans are still haunted by the Tulsa race massacre that destroyed homes and businesses of black Tulsans. So he created a space where people can transform themselves into gardeners of hope rather than gravekeepers of the city's past. We consider this city at best to be a place where we can manicure and cut the grass of the gravesite that the city is. But what if the city isn't a gravesite? Like what if it's a garden? The three-part exhibit puts visitors in an immersive healing experience. Hall says that the healing of Tulsa can't come without looking in the mirror and finding personal healing first. City healing, right, on a collective level, begins with individual healing. So we move from a 40,000 foot view of the healing process to a four inch view between you and yourself. Each part of the exhibit represents a moment in a person's own story where they can travel to, to change pain into possibility just like a garden. And gardens have decomposed life and elements of loss in them as well, but they move towards this beautiful cycle of life, death, and renewal. Hall says he hopes to see people reshape the story of Tulsa. As a place where the ancestors are living and moving and breathing about us, um, conjuring the good out of us and inviting us to carry the seeds of Black Wall Street forward. Now, the exhibit will be here at the Greenwood Gallery all month. Reporting live in Tulsa this morning, Mackenzie Gladney, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.